Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. And so, what are starseeds? What does this term mean? Who coined the term? Welcome everybody to the Intuitive Hour. We're answering those questions and more today in this interesting episode about star seeds, indigo children, rainbow children, crystal children. We're talking today all about these unique young souls coming into the world today. And so the term star seed, it was first coined back in the 1970s by ufologist Brad Steiger. He used it to describe people who have come to Earth from other planets or dimensions. The term very quickly caught on, and today there are many different star seed groups and organizations around the world. Have you felt like you don't quite fit in? What's your place in this world? Perhaps you notice that about your children. Are you drawn to the stars and space? If so, there's a good chance that you're a star seed. Unique individuals who have come to Earth from other planets or even other dimensions. So there are many types of star seeds. We'll talk about all those today for sure, but what exactly is a star seed in general? A star seed is a being who has incarnated here on this earth. They may have come from a planet in our solar system, such as Venus or Mars, or they may have come from a star system beyond our own. Star seeds are here to help the Earth and humanity evolve. They are here for our utmost evolution. They have special gifts and talents that can help us heal and transform our planet as a whole. All right, so let's talk about star seeds and the t- types that there are. Many of us are familiar with the term indigo children, and if you've been following the intuitive hour, perhaps you have listened to a very specific episode I've created on indigo children, characteristics and traits all about them. I would encourage you to revisit that as well. Indigo children are star seats. As we know, they are here to help us heal from wounds of the past, to help in the evolution of the planet. They are highly intuitive and have a strong connection to their higher selves. If you're an indigo or you have an indigo child, you'll notice some specific things. Number one, you'll see that they'll express themselves in a sense of royalty. And they have a deep understanding that it's their deserving birthright to be here on this planet. They have a strong desire to be spoken with, not at or to. Indigo children prefer eye contact when communicating. If you're an indigo or you have an indigo child, There must be freedom of choice in everything for them, even in their own disciplining. It's essential to explain things to them. Because I said so does not work for indigos. They are intolerant to uniformity, rules, or 
rigid processes, if you will. For the indigo, frustration sets in at times, and this is usually when they can't see the way to manifest their typically very awesome and amazing ideas. The indigo child has a preference towards a particular way of learning, especially in subjects like math. And finally, indigo children are highly, highly creative. They do best in an environment that is more investigative and exploratory, where they can create and learn as they go. Crystal children, a very unique and special child, these star seeds are here to help us remember our true nature as divine beings. They are incredibly wise beyond their years and often possess psychic abilities. You might notice that crystal children are quieter than other kids their age, or they might have a wisdom, as I mentioned, that seems just beyond their particular age. They have a knowing, a sense about things. As I've mentioned, crystal children are incredibly intuitive and psychic. They might know things they shouldn't, or they might have a deep understanding of the world around them. They might say things that are very unique and special at a very young age. For example, Mama, when I was in your belly, I remember seeing the house we lived in. So they have a sense of knowing what's ahead. They say very otherworldly things. They may talk about their dreams. They are also very empathetic and compassionate. Crystal children feel things deeply. And they are very drawn to helping others. They are the ultimate givers. These children are natural healers, and they often have a deep connection to the natural world, the earth world, nature, trees. You'll notice crystal children are very creative, and they might see the world in a different way than other children do. They have unique ideas and perspectives. These children are very sensitive, and they might be affected by things that other children aren't. So they'll need time to process their emotions. They'll need space at these heightened times. If you know a crystal child, cherish them. They are special and unique. They have so much to offer the world. These children are the ultimate healers of the future. And we need them now more than ever. All right. The very special uniqueness of rainbow children, also a star seed. Rainbow children are here to bring hope. They are here to bring joy to our world. They are optimistic and have a strong connection also to the natural world, as crystal children do. So be mindful that there can be some overlap with star seeds. So here are some things to be aware of about the rainbow child. They are, too, very unique and different from other children. We call them rainbow children because they actually embody all of the colors of the rainbow in their energy field. These unique children are here to help usher in a new era of consciousness on our planet. They have a lot to teach us. Rainbow children 
are often born into families with history of abuse or addiction. They are here to help heal the world from trauma that has been inflicted. Rainbow children are highly sensitive and compassionate. They feel things deeply. And they have a hard time understanding why other people don't feel the same way. This can make them seem like they are too sensitive or too emotional. But in reality, they are just perceiving the world differently than most people. Rainbow children are very creative and imaginative. They see the world in a completely different way than others do. You'll find that they are often drawn to art, music, and nature. Rainbow children can have a difficult time sitting still, and they often feel like they are too much for the world. But again, this is just because they perceive things differently than others. Rainbow children are here to help us remember who we really are. They are here to remind us that we are all connected and that we are all one. They have come to help us heal the world and to create a new reality. They are here to teach us about love, compassion, and understanding. The planet is so very fortunate to have them here. And last of the star seeds, earth angels. This is the star seed who will help keep the planet running. These star seeds are here to help us heal our relationship with Mother Earth, to be more specific. They are deeply connected to nature and have an understanding of the spiritual realm. Earth angels are a type of star seed who have come to Earth specifically to help with planetary transition that is currently happening. They work behind the scenes to make sure that everything runs smoothly and they are essential in maintaining balance on the planet. As highly intuitive beings, earth angels are able to pick up on the subtle energies and vibes around them. This allows them to see beyond the physical world and into the spiritual realm. They often have a deep understanding of the universe and its laws. Additionally, their intuition gives them a strong sense of empathy. They can feel what others are feeling and understand their pain. Earth angels also have a strong sense of compassion. They're always looking for ways to help others, whether it's through volunteering, donating, working for charities, or simply lending a listening ear. They truly want to make the world a better place for everyone. They're very giving, and they're always willing to help out, even if they don't know the person in need. Finally, Earth Angels are creative problem solvers. They often see things from a different perspective and are able to come up with unique solutions to problems. They're figure-outers, if you will. Additionally, they are often very resourceful. They know how to find resources they need to get the job done, whether it's through research, networking, or simply trial and error. They're always willing to put in the work to find the solution. All right, so now that you know a little bit about star seeds, let's explore some of their common characteristics. As we've talked about, 
star seeds often feel like they are different from other people. They may feel like they don't quite fit in on this planet. They're drawn to stars and space. They might even have a strong interest in astronomy or science fiction. Star seeds, as we've discussed, are highly intuitive and psychic. It's common for them to have precognitive dreams or visions. And we know they often have a deep connection to nature. Some have a connection to the spirit realm. And they're here to help us heal and transform our planet. If you suspect that you may be a starseed, there are a few things that you can do. First, trust your intuition. If you feel strongly that you are a starseed or that you have a starseed child, then you probably are. Second, look for signs from the universe. Be open, pay attention. Have you been seeing repeating numbers, for example, like 1111 or 222? These are common signs that starseeds receive from the cosmos. Third, look for synchronicities in your life. Starseeds often experience serendipitous events that confirm their path in life. And last, listen to your heart. If you feel called to help heal the planet, then there's a real good chance that you're a starseed. Listen to that and follow it. What's in the future for the planet? Well, with the starseeds at the helm, the future looks pretty bright. They're here to help us heal. They're helping our planet move along. They are divine beings. As we continue to awaken to our spiritual potential, starseeds will play an increasingly important role in our lives and the planet as a whole. If you feel like you're a starseed or you know one, embrace it. Encourage them to embrace it. You are here for a reason. Trust your intuition. Follow your heart. The universe is guiding you every step of the way. All right, everyone, we will bring our episode to a close. Thank you for joining me today. As always, for any questions, comments, or suggestions, we welcome them. Please send them to mbeltran at michellebeltran.com. I look forward to seeing you all here next week. If you enjoyed this episode of The Intuitive Hour, please consider following, rating, and reviewing the podcast at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. You're welcome to access Michelle's free controlled remote viewing exercise that will empower you to uncover answers to your burning questions about lost objects, events, or people in the past, present, or future. Visit michellebeltran.com to access this free offering and rediscover what was once lost.